Uh, and it's time for us to listen to the next selection of songs. Let's see what you think about this lot. Brendan. Um, so uh, I, originally I didn't like Denmark. Um, I, I felt you know, their other representative should have won, but uh, it's grown on me. Sand is by far my favourite of this year. I, I really think it may win. Uh, as everybody was saying previously, Denmark like to pull pull, uh, pull, pull some special out of the hat when Sweden are hosting. Um, I Estonia, yeah, I, again, it's one of those, it's a crowd pleaser, but not for me, but I, I suspect it'll do well. Um, Georgia, yeah, I, I find it a bit catchy. She's got a very decent voice, but there's something missing from that song again. Uh, it doesn't appeal to me. And where I usually love the Greek songs, I, I can't, I just can't get into that song at the moment. I'm, I'm hoping my opinions change as we get closer. <laughs> I don't want to be the miserable one there, but uh, yeah, um, yeah, it's a gen, it's a general show, isn't it? There we go. Uh, Donna and Ian. Um, yes. Estonia. Let, let's talk about Estonia for a second. Now, I know you guys um, show great uh, enthusiasm when it comes to different languages of the world. Can you pronounce it? No. <laughs> no. Quite frankly, no. I'm just glad it's in there because the commentators yeah, are going to have to try and pronounce it. I know what the, title, the translation which says. Which is going to be the hilarious. The translation says, we do not yet know anything about these drugs oh. so yeah um yeah uh <laughs> that's what um, michelle said during the 90s <laughs> <laughs> she's still spared by it as well you know uh, <laughs> um i think it's one of those that it's nice to know a little bit about the song sometimes um in translation um because this one i really wasn't sure about at all from the word go and just thought, oh, God, it could be another LT United. A lot of fun, but not do anything. Um, and I'm still not convinced the actual lead singer <laughs> can really sing the song. LT United came sixth. Yeah, but... That's, that's not, not doing anything, though, is it? It's, it's still six. It didn't win, Phil. Like, no. <laughs> it did in Phil's eyes. Don't upset him. <laughs> <laughs> this is Phil's all-time favourite. I'm taken sorry. Off. You'll forgive me at some point. Um, but, yeah, this one's grown on me a lot, actually. Um, uh, it's it's ticking lots of bingo boxes as well, isn't it? Um, and it's definitely high energy and will definitely stand out. Um, so, yeah, I think it will qualify. Mm. Um, it may not be everybody's cup of tea, though, so I could see this might not sail through. It's one of those, you'll either love it or you hate it. What do you think about it? For Estonia? Yeah. I quite, I quite like it. It's grown on me. Um, initially, I was like, what the fuck is this? Um, but actually, also, when you take it, if you listen to just that away from the, the silly dance, it, I, it's quite a good song in there. Um, this group, um, I like Denmark. Um, as Neil said, uh, Neil Fulch said, it sounds like a bit of a Melfest. should have been a Melfest, really. But it's. I think that's going to do really quite well for somebody who's very static on stage. Has a big presence. It's really well put together as a song. Um, Estonia. It's a bit fun. Uh, Georgia. Oh, it's just shit. Um, Greece. Uh, that's also shit. But it's got a really funny video that takes the piss out of the um, whole Greek tourism industry and all the cliches in it. Yeah, but you're but, not going to see the video on stage. No. And you? it has nothing to do with the song. No, but it's a no. really good video. <laughs> totally different to the song. Out of this one, but... though, Latvia. 
This is good. It's a Baltic ballad, not a Balkan ballad, but it's very good. It's very simply done, but it's done very well. Um, and if you watch the national final performance, very static on stage, nice video backdrop, nothing fancy, really, really works. And if that's up again in amongst the sillier songs uh, this year, it's going to stand out. It's one of the few that's actually a ballad this, in this whole semi. So in a way, being as reserved as it is could do it, it justice or be in its favour, you know? So it is probably so. Um, and it's something that we've not heard before, but that could help it get through to the final. Uh, yeah, uh, this is not my favourite selection, I've got to admit. Um, Do you know what? That's fine, because I know yeah. we've got five bangers to finish with. I think there's some interesting comments there. We're going to bring some others on in on the conversation, uh, as it were. I saw Phil and Michelle uh, obviously get a bit vocal there over LT United, uh, but uh, surely, Phil, I mean... I feel like I'm banging an Estonian drum, but I'm sure this song is so far up your street. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. Oh, yes. This is my favourite of the whole competition. It's brilliant. I think it's very Estonian in the subject. Um, if you if you actually watch the Estonian national final, their performance, the crowd is singing along. Everyone's loving it. And I think it won the televote massively, didn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, I love it. It's a lot of fun. You've got your traditional instruments, if they are traditional or if they're just made up. I don't know, but it's got everything. It's got the dance. It's got tune. I love it. Look how, Fantastic. Look how excited you I know. It's my, it's my favourite this year. I did tell you all about the the dream I had about this, didn't I? I'm sure I did. I don't know, because I'm usually drunk when I do this. But it was like, I was, uh, I think, I was the rapper that, well, you know, the, the, at the beginning... Then Stu was the singer, and then Phil and Andy Brooke were the old men with the stupid instruments that I'd made out of cornflake bo boxes and elastic bands. Uh, you know, sometimes dreams do come true. <laughs> I was going to say, drums are made and elastic bands and stuff. That almost reminds me of the rainbow sketch when they talk about the twanger. But that's just... <laughs> I think that's probably one for, for younger than the youth, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Um... <laughs> Anyway, back on track. Let's have a look. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, oh, Denmark. If she gave her pedestal to Chechia and she moved a little bit and Chechia stood on that pedestal, they both could qualify. Yeah. I, I like that, though. It's a good song, isn't it? Yeah. It is. And she's got a powerful voice. Um, she does say sand quite a lot, doesn't she? I know. It's, it, it's sand, not sand. a very... I don't know. It doesn't... Sit well, but it's sand. It's not. It's, yeah, yeah, it's not it's, a sexy not a very word, is it? Word. No. Um. Yeah. Um. I thought Dan's hollow. Um. Yeah, he's got a great voice. Um. It may stand out, but it's not my cup of tea. It just plods for me, I'm afraid. I thought it was a beautifully haunting ballad. Oh, there we go. Oh, one of well, them. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I thought it was a beautifully haunting ballad. The more I hear this, the more I really like it. I just don't like it when I'm watching him sing it. If I don't have to watch him sing it, I think it's brilliant. But they just need something on stage. It's just boring. But I'm sure the Eurovision mm. genies will wave their little wands and he'll have a fantastic staging around him and it'll come across really really well so i really hope so because i do like it i just don't like the staging that they had for the national final sort of thing so um, no, that's fine. I, was, I mean troy said is the sand getting between your toes and other places oh it always does honestly when you get older it's awful absolutely <laughs> awful. it's the joy of living by the seaside <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah yeah <laughs> Uh, Greece. Um, yeah. I just put worst video ever. That was it. Um, I don't know. Um, the beginning it reminds me a bit of Oh Superman by uh, oh, Laurie God. Anderson. Find there's one for the youth. There you go. Yeah, there you there's go. one for you. There you go. But, How does it go? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, that bit. 
<laughs> Sounds like the vocal warm ups on an, on a uh, Pitch Perfect movie. To be fair, yeah, <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I didn't get. I don't get Greek. Sorry, it's not for me. And does anybody else think that Joe? Um, Georgia is going to have absolutely killer choreography. It's going to be absolutely sort of really tight and sort of all, you know, oh, it's just going to have killer choreography, but with no substance behind it, oh. which never did anybody any harm at Eurovision, to be fair. Yeah. So I think it would probably do this quite well. Yeah. This is true. Right. I can see Oban getting a bit nervous in the background. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to fling our minion on. There we go. I'm hoping the hangover's not too bad, darling. Uh, yeah, obviously, you know, I suppose the question on everybody's lips is, will Cyprus be giving 12 points to Greece this year if they we make it through to the final? We couldn't care less unless anymore. They proved it last year. We need, we need to find a new 12 points fixed. We need to make new friends. <laughs> But um, so I have down, uh, Tom, like five out of these six songs as qualifier. But looking at them, like there is one song in the last group we will do tonight, which I think is the, gonna win the whole thing. And there is the Belgium. And the rest of the songs, they will qualify just because there was no competition, in my opinion. And uh, like I'm looking Denmark and Latvia, definitely very good quality songs, like amazing songs. But if they would fall into the first semifinal, definitely not qualifying. So they're lucky that they're in the second semifinal. Georgia, looking at this lineup, I think out of 10 qualifiers, there's room for two pop dance divas. So... Austria and Georgia will qualify. They have like I think there is enough quota for both to qualify, and then and then Greece. Ah, where is the Greece of Kalomiras and Elefteria Elefterius and and I don't know. Like Zari Dice have six faces. This is like a six songs mashed up together. Uh, if it be, be the two out of those six songs mashed up together, it would work. If it the three out of those six different songs mashed up together, it might have worked. But like I am one minute in the song and it's giving me anxiety. And I really, really hoped it to finish ASAP. And it just dragged way too long. Like this, the beginning was gorgeous. And I was like, oh, this is interesting. And then 30 seconds in and I'm like, What's happening? Speak and stop. Do you know what? We're, we're, we're going to leave you there and we're going to move on to Alina. Um, Alina, have mm -hmm. you got any obvious favourites here? Where's Belgium's biggest competition in this one? For me, it's Denmark. Denmark is my winner this year. And I know I'm in like a small group of the, of the fans that think that. But um, yeah, they can win the whole thing for me. I would be fine with it, but I know it's not going to happen. Um, but yeah, I really, really, really love Denmark. Um, Latvia is also high in my ranking. And then we have um, Georgia. I It's just making my top 10 for the semi-final. And then Greece. Uh, yeah, I, I do not really sorry, care about Greece. And Estonia, I think... Um, they're uh, having competition with the Netherlands because I think there can only be like room for one weird act um, in the semi-final. So um, I think Netherlands is going to take that away from Estonia and Estonia will have like nothing, <laughs> but like nothing to, um, yeah, of the votes. Yeah, this is a tough one, isn't it? Um <sighs> It's either going to bomb or it's going to succeed. And I think it's it's one of those entries that I've kind of got. If it qualifies, it will qualify in 10th. And if it doesn't qualify, I suspect Estonia is uh, an 11th place wannabe. Um, and I really suspect that. Um, will the public pick up their phones and vote for it? Yeah, that's that. Do you know what, Alina? And you've arrived at exactly the same conclusion as I have. Um, I'm going to bring you guys all back together again just to see where your finalists are here. Um, so 
Let's start with Phil and Michelle. Estonia, Latvia, Denmark. Uh, Estonia and Denmark for me. Okay, what about Ian and Donna? Okay. Um, Estonia, Denmark, Latvia. Um, Latvia definitely, and I think Denmark definitely. The rest, maybe. Okay, Oben. Denmark and Latvia for sure. Georgia, Greece. For, like I think that it's it will, will take a miracle for them for them to not to qualify. And uh Estonia because I couldn't find the tenth qualifier. There we go. See, there's always a song that's got a qualifying tent. Brendan, what about you, my friend? Uh Denmark and Latvia. I think Estonia will get the tenth place, lucky enough. Oh yes. Uh, and Alina. For me, it's um, Denmark, Latvia, and then the last place is like Georgia. Oh, is that last place as in the last, as in 10th, or is in The last one that uh, I could give points to, like with this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, you're the only one to go for Georgia there. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, as always, these predictions will be locked away very securely. Sean says Denmark has had an amazing song this year. Uh, John reckons that Denmark and Estonia are qualifiers. And Tracy says it's Denmark and possibly Latvia. Uh, Dan's gone for Greece, Denmark and Latvia. Uh, Troy reckons that everyone discounting Georgia is very interesting. Yeah, but Alina didn't. Alina's put it into her top 10. Um, Elliot reckons that Denmark is the only certain qualifier. Um, and where are we? Ah. John Boy says, sand is better than sewage on your local beach. Denmark is one of my favourites. As Ian said, a couple of the other songs can be described as sewage. There we go. And as you can see, the award shows will take place. Show one is Sunday, April 28th. Uh, show two is Sunday, May the 5th, both starting at 8 p.m. UK time, 9 p.m. Central European time. Voting is now open. Go on to menti.com. The code is 4238 and double one ten. And we would love to have as many of you vote. 